Hi everyone, I'm pleased to be your speaker for this uh, special uh, FIRA video presentation uh, of Dino. My name is Simon, um, I'm the technical referent for uh, NIO Technology in Toulouse. Just to let you know, maybe you know who we are, but our company is based in, Toul in Toulouse since uh, 2011 and uh, we have now 150 robots outside in the fields. Dino and Oz specialize for vegetables uh, production and Ted for the vineyards uh, production. Um, and today I'm going to show you how Dino works. So if you want to follow me, let's go. So just to present you uh, how Dino works and what, what Dino do. Dino is an autonomous robot that do cultivating and weeding on vegetable crops. Uh, so we are today on lettuce, but uh, Dino can work on on a multiple type of crop, leeks, cabbage, cilantro, celery, uh, onion, all type of vegetables. He's for more lar large scale uh, vegetable growers. He's fully electric, powered by lithium batteries that you charge uh, at your shop. He can work up to uh, four hectares per day. Uh, that during um, an amount of between 8 and 10 hours, depending on the soil conditions. Um, he's guided by GPS RTK, so that gives us a really uh, good precision, centimetric precision. And then uh, once he's uh, working, uh, there is a camera just under here. The tools are uh, guided by uh, ca camera guidance. So that gives really good precision and that gives us the possibility to go really close to the plant. The first step before to operate Dino is to create a map. There is two ways to create the map or we use the same GPS as Dino is using and you put it on your planter. So Dino is following the same track um, that you, where you planted your lettuce. And the second way is to take a GPS point, AB points, um, for each bed. Then Dino is able to follow the lines you created for him once you create the map and he's ready to go. So what I want to do is position Dino on that bed. Um, so what I do is I, with the remote control that I have, um, I uh, put Dino in front of the bed. Once he's in front of the bed, I go on the, on the screen and I, I decide to um, put uh, autonomous mode. I put the map that I made the day before. Uh, so it's a GPS map, uh, FIRA. Uh, I want the tool activate. So for the, the tool guidance, I need the, the, lettuce, the lettuce size, the number of row, and the, 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 the distance between the plants. So I, I decide uh, the speed uh, and uh, if I want to go right or left. He is asking me if he is ready to go. What he's going to do right now is asking me uh, how deep I want the tools. So I, I go to look at the tool depth. He's ready and he's working autonomously. And the robot is ready to go to work for eight hours. At that moment, uh, I don't need to touch the remote or to do anything. He's controlling uh, the, the tools uh, uh, with the camera and uh, he's controlling himself uh, with, the, with the, the, the GPS. Once Dino is, uh, is finishing the bed, he is uh, going to lift his tools up, uh, still uh, autonomously. And uh, once he lifts his tool, he's going to go to the next bed. The advantage is uh, that he can uh, 
do the U-turn with a really uh, small amount of space. He don't need a, a large uh, space to do his U-turn as he's turning, uh, he's turning, he's turning around like that. So he's looking now for uh, the next bed. And once he's in front of the next bed, he's gonna put his tools down and cultivate. Once Dino uh, finishes, the, finishes the job, um, he sent me a text saying job finish. So the setup we are using right now is uh, the setup we decided to use today. So we have uh, a V-knife uh, that cultivates uh, between the rows uh, right here and, and killing the, the plants. And then in the back we are using finger weeders. Uh, that cultivate uh, between the plants. So as you can see, we are uh, breaking that crust in the middle here. But it's up to you to decide uh, which um, setup or which tools you, can, you want to use. You can use uh, L-knife, V-knife, the, 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 the tools you prefer. Um, and we are working right now on a four-line four um, uh, beds, uh, but uh, we can work up to 10 lines uh, with different setups and the robot's uh, width is uh, adaptable and we can go from 160 centimeter to 210 centimeter on the bigger beds. So that's the, the setup that uh, Nayo proposed, uh, but uh, depending uh, what, what's your favorite tools, you can adapt uh, your uh, the knife you want and, uh, and other, uh, other tools. Oh, and um, by the way, we have integrated a brand new um, Intero guidance system for the tool adjustments. Um, the manufacturer, Tiletenag, uh, now provides us the um, really robust solution that allowed Dino to work on even more crops, up to 10 line. Uh, we can work um, on beets and, and all kind of lettuce, all colors. Um, so that's, uh, that gives us uh, even more opportunity to, to work on different crops. So there is different level of safety for Dino. The first one is the GPS. He never gonna go away from the line you created for him. The second level are the emergency buttons. So we have the, this little remote for the operator. So we can uh, just press the button if there is an emergency of we, or if we see someone too close from the machine. There is an emergency button right here. And then the second level is uh, around the robot where we have the LiDAR. So it's like a laser uh, and everything that go around him when he's operating, like right here, the, the machine is going to stop. The second level is the, is the bumpers right here. So if there is an obstacle or someone, um, the, robot, the robot will stop too. We hope you enjoyed this demo with our robot uh, Dino. If you have any question, do not hesitate to ask us and uh, have a good day.